I want to say, go on, fucking John before you start. I know you're going to put it in the video if I do it. Turn it off. I know <laughs> it's turned off. I know cameras. Turn it off. I can see you ripping it back there. You're not fucking. F <laughs> they don't care that I'm huffing creatine. <laughs> What's up, guys? We back. <laughs> back with another video. Oh, you want some C4? No, that's just sketch. Your brother literally just said it's like crack. We're feeling pretty tired and unmotivated right now, so. Gonna whip Jack out the is C4. basically taking legal meth right now. But you vape it. You don't vape it. Kids don't huff. <laughs> This is <laughs> we lit. Your parents are gonna watch this. They don't care that I'm huffing creatine. <laughs> this is what college is for, baby. College is all about experimentation, guys. <laughs> I agree. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to survive your first semester. Because we survived. College. We survived. I wouldn't say we thrived. <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't drop out, so I would consider that a success. Today, we're kind of kind of feeling tired. I haven't uh, eaten in like good 12 hours. You need some C4, my friend. <laughs> but yeah, so today's topic is how to survive your first semester. Let's get into it. Oh, we're going to divide it up into three main pillars I feel like of survival. More there's more pillars than you. I said main. Like you can't hold up a building with three pillars. Like five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. There's nine pillars. Nine pillars out there. <laughs> nine that windows are disgusting. Nasty ass window. <laughs> so nine main pillars. The first pillar is love. Then we got food, partying, academics. Oh yeah, school. <laughs> you know the whole reason you come. Uh, what else? You have working out. That's probably exercise, a pillar. Exercise. Exercise. Help. Jeweling. Pillar. <laughs> Baxter are... has more friends than me because he jewels. So it's a way to be social. It starts a lot of conversations. It is a social thing. Get to know each other over a nice little lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> like not like not like a serious thing. It's just like a fling with just lung cancer. Chill lung cancer. Keep Everyone's jeweling. doing it. <laughs> well, that was a weird hiccup burp. Have you ever done one of those? A herp? No. So we got seven pillars. <laughs> just <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Start choking. <laughs> it's in me! Seven pillars, Damn okay. It. We're making this up as we go, so cut us some slack. Improv, as they would say. <laughs> My pants, I We're both naked. Pants, but hence and the I have an erection. But you guys would never know. Yeah, All right, pillar one. number one. Wait, what did we say? I love? don't know. We should have written these down as we went. Fucking yeah, Christ. it was. So you want to you want to talk a little bit about love? Baxter has a long distance girlfriend. That's why I you know put this question on him. Please. What do you do when you have a significant other and you have to separate? When you long leave distance relationships are a doozy. Originally, when I when my high school girlfriend and I were talking about what we we're gonna do with college, we basically were like, we're gonna break up. Like that's what we're gonna do. And then college rolled around. And we were like, fuck that. That and we're not gonna break up. Then about a month and a half into college, it was brutal, so rough, and it kind of made college difficult, and it just made overall mentality about things pretty shitty. We broke up, broke up for two months, and then winter break rolled around, and then now we're back together. I love this girl a lot. It's hard because you really don't get to see each other that much. You kind of disconnect a little bit. It's just a balance. I would say if you're gonna try a long distance relationship, things that you have to establish, you know, like how much do you actually trust each other? Are you gonna be able to let each other kind of do your own thing and really like understand the full weight of what it is because it is hard it's pretty fucking difficult that's that wow but beautiful. also good shit from Baxter don't let Went go of there. people that you fucking love like if you have someone who like you're you're into don't let that shit go because like life will bring you back together if it's supposed to happen wow I could shed it here <laughs> All right, well, I'm single, so that doesn't really apply to me. I hope that cleared that pillar out, out, you know, out for you guys. That didn't make sense at all, but I hope that helped. Anyways, moving on to the next pillar, which was, like, food or something. Was food, I think. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Just pick one. Okay, second pillar, food. <laughs> College, you know, you're gonna want to be eating food, right? Because generally you need food to survive. That's just kind Speak of, I hate this lighting right now. I like it. Very aesthetic. It's kind of romantic. <laughs> Guys, it's Jack's birthday. Yeah, also, what up? It's my Give birthday. Give him some birthday wishes. Dude, dude, I feel so old. I'm 20. He's 20. I don't. Jack is an old fuck. Fucking shit. He's going to not be able to get a boner pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, food. Um, I so like this is kind of an unnecessary pillar. Basically, you just need health to health kind of encompasses is that. Right, health pillar. Right, let's move on to the next pillar. <laughs> the second pillar 
help. We go to CU, obviously, gigantic party school. First three weeks are pretty much just a blur. Once you like start classes, uh, it's kind of like you just teleported there. You're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My body kind of feels weird. I'm not drunk anymore. So that's basically the first three weeks. So pretty much you can disregard everything we're gonna say about health because that just doesn't apply to the first three weeks. Unless you wanted to and you want to be a better human than we were. Yeah, that too. But it was also fun as fuck. Why? It was one of those things where you go hard and then you're like ready to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get know? it all out pretty you, quick. You do. You know? Definitely get it out of your system. Yeah. Like whole trig four days in a row. <laughs> that didn't happen though. Anyways, after you get past the first three weeks, get into a routine. Get yourself a big ass water bottle. <laughs> If I were you, I would avoid Jewel like it was the Black Plague. I would too. Yeah, that's coming from a jeweler. Yeah. And we're not talking necklaces. We're, no, talking, we're talking straight cancer stick. <laughs> I told you, I hated this light. It's really red. Alright, we're back with a new white balance, baby. <laughs> Routine, water bottle, sleep. Sex. Safe sex, guys. Safe sex. Hugely important. <laughs> Condoms, no matter Rap what. Wrap if you your don't shit. If you don't know the girl or you don't know the guy, whatever, just condom. Condom. Have a backup. Cause. Usually I have three. Just in case. In your pocket, not on the dick. That <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work. That causes that friction between the condoms and breaks them easier. Yeah, don't double up. Don't if you even up. think that's viable, then like, did you go to health class? <laughs> sixth you grade? shouldn't be having sex. Yeah. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Practice safe sex. <laughs> it's like, um, excuse me, could I see uh, every vaccination you've ever had and uh, also all of your medical records like right before you <laughs> Someone does that for sure. Someone does that. But also consent. Like, are you good with this? Like, are we good? with that you know just keep the conversation going sometimes it's, it's like a gray area you don't want it to be a gray area always you want it to be green anyway so safe sex huge part of the health thing all right moving on to the next pillar which was school maybe yeah let's see i use google calendar for all my assignments and shit which like really organizes you the whole google suite is really effective we recommend the google suite gmail google calendar google drive drive it's the best i don't know why you would use anything else if you're still using yahoo I mean, guys, or some shit it's on the fucking cloud make lists check them twice be fucking santa claus with them <laughs> yeah Make a list, check, check it, twice. it twice. If you're naughty, you're not gonna get anything done. It's uh, good to have a good attitude. That's another thing with health, going back to pillar yeah, two. Yeah, positivity. I just told Baxter about affirmations. If you don't know what they are, look that shit up on Google because it'll change your fucking life, baby. What else do you need to survive here? We, let's talk about friends. First, like, three weeks are hella important for, like, finding your friends. Because once you, like, are in a group, it's hard to leave. And, like, it'd be hard to, like, join a new friend group, you know? I think, like, the best practical way to meet people is to just ask their name. All it, like, if you have, like, a go-to way to meet someone, because it's kind of, like, scary, you know? Basically, it have a script. Because once you've done it once, you're like, okay, like, that's easy. Like, imagine if someone walked up to you with a script. It's like, <laughs> no. You're just like, hi. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Good, I'm I'm good. How are you? Good. I am good. They're like, <laughs> you your name's good. You read it, but like you don't wait for their answers because you're just panicking. Hi. Uh, good, how about you? Uh, Where are you from? Oh, cool, I'm from nearby. We should, we should do, do a that. video about that. There's like a whole algorithm. If they answer, hi, ask, how are you? If they answer, hello, ask, what is your name? Have a script, like a tentative script. Just, just a one-liner. Go to pickup line if you will, because that will make it a lot easier to meet people. The first year is pretty turbulent with friends. Friends change, you're gonna meet new people, and it's also like, you gotta be open-minded about who you're meeting. Just just meet people and like constantly meet people like don't get comfortable don't like meet a couple friends and then like settle in with them once you have met someone if you see them just like say hi because that'll like be reaffirm your don't friendship. be fake but be friendly be yourself you don't know people until you spend a lot of time with them like yeah you, if you meet people in the first three weeks and like you think they're your really good friends i can guarantee by the end of you'll school drop a few. you're gonna drop a few because like some others. you meet someone for the first time and like you're like oh they're sick they're really cool and then and like once you really get to know them you're like who the fuck are they yeah and like a lot of times people are trying to recreate themselves in an artificial way and aren't really being themselves yeah what else do you need to survive oh transportation you can bike quite frankly people will tell you you don't need a car but like at boulder it's nice to have a car because like there's sick outdoor stuff to do but they're it's all at least like 30 minutes away we just drove baxter's truck from california to here so we got a car now which is lit but if you don't have a car get a bike or um scooter maybe scooters are lit except don't get a scooter <laughs> or heelys get an electric scooter get like heelys the bird. Yeah, i feel like the batteries would uh decharge really 
fast because it's so cold. Maybe that's why they haven't migrated here yet. The birds are flocking. <laughs> birds are in migrating. In the they migrate. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the winter, they're like... <laughs> they all get in a line, like a V, and drive <laughs> down the highway. It's the it's bird the migration. <laughs> Whoa, look at that flock oh. of birds. There they go. They're going <laughs> south for the winter. <laughs> oh, summer's coming around. They're off to Colorado. <laughs> oh, my God. They're mating along, this, along the highway. Wow. Oh, my God. Look, there's a baby bird. It's like, it's like, it's like a shrunk down scooter. Uh, oh my god, look, there's a bird egg. And it's like a bird in its box. <laughs> Cardboard box. Yeah. It's an unhatched. Oh my god. Guys, let's take it and raise it for ourselves. When it breaks out, it's like, it like starts punching through the cardboard. It's like <laughs> moving, it's like handlebars. And then it like, like unfold. It, it, wow, life wow. so beautiful. <laughs> Nature. Oh, cyborgs. <laughs> I can't wait to be a cyborg. Uh, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> Uh, transportation. Right, right. Right. Uh, but there is a bus here. The tangents we go on. The tangents are lit. I wish it was more of a cosign. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not making this goddamn. I make this joke every video. Trigonometry joke. Like, oh, went on a we go on tangents and then we're like, oh. Going on a sign. <laughs> Guys, um, we started a podcast, so that's gonna be in the bio go of this video. Out. Go check Exist it out. The existential crisis. Yeah, it's called the existential crisis. Jack and I are in a <laughs> constant state of panic about life. <laughs> it's a little more serious, but also a little more, you know, fun. It's like a, a Gearious, goofy serious. Yeah, yeah. Gearious. <laughs> It sounds like a name for a car. <laughs> or like Gurious. a fancy old British dude. <laughs> like a butler. Like a butler. Curious. Curious. Fetch me some tea. You Catch fuck. Me Bring me my fucking jewel. <laughs> Curious. Oh, it's not charged? <laughs> God damn it. A mint pod? Really? <laughs> I wanted mango creme brulee. <laughs> They don't make that. <laughs> make it yourself. I want you to mix them. Whip them up. That's kind of a good business idea. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Big, huge announcement, guys. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers. And I'm gonna do a Q&A. It's gonna be late. So, ask me questions in the comments of this video that you want to know about me. Don't ask questions about me, though. I won't answer your questions. I'll answer them for him. No, I have a deep secret. The fact has a deep underlying secret that, like, no one knows. Maybe one day he'll tell Dude. us, but not today. Dude. So, yeah, ask me questions questions in the comments. But thanks guys. Hope so, we helped. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Like fun. and subscribe, you know, as always. Bye. Wait, we didn't need to do our snap. We do it every okay, time. Okay, ready? Oh, we didn't even count. That was so good. <laughs> what? I was like, this would be dope if we didn't count at the same time. <laughs> we did. Holy shit. <laughs> Peace out. Curious. Curious. Fetch me some tea. You Catch fuck. Me Bring me my fucking jewel.